Hey everyone, I have another Seasons Greetings card to share with you. This time I'm using the Hero Arts stamp set. I've had this one for a while and not used it, so I figured I should. I'm going to go ahead and stamp down the tree on a piece of white cardstock. And I actually have a mask that I already made for that tree. So I'm put my mask right over that tree. And then I'm going to stamp the reindeer a little bit on top of the tree, as you can see. So then when I peel the mask away, it will look like the reindeer is peeking out from behind the tree. And then I just took my memento marker to clean up some of the spots where um, there was like a gap between the his foot and the tree trunk. Um, just any spots that need a little bit more ink on them. Alright, so then I have my Copic markers. That's the YG61 and YG63. And I'm just going to take the lighter one and color in the entire tree and it's more of like a um, yellowish green not really yellow but it's just it's not like grass green and it's the one that I use all the time for like all of my um, trees or leaves Okay, and then I'm going to take my darker one, the YG63, and just go over um, the black part so that it's a little darker green in that area. And then I take my lighter one again and just go over the entire tree one last time to make sure that everything blends together well. I was just darkening in the hooves um, with my memento marker again. Alrighty, and then I got my E23 and E25. Those are browns. They're my um, favorite two markers, brown markers, to blend together. So I'm just going to color in the reindeer. Alright, and then I take my darker one, the E25, and I'm just adding a few dark spots um, to where the shadows might be on the reindeer. And then I'll take my lighter one again and just go over the whole thing again as I did with the green color. Alright, so it's all colored. Um, I just have to do the sweater quick, and I'm going to do that in red. That is R39. I apologize, it's kind of hard to read, but it is R39. It's like a dark um, red. So I'm just going to color in his sweater. Okay, and I accidentally colored out of the lines a little bit, so I'm just taking my blending uh, marker and kind of pushing that color back into where I want it. Okay, these are just two strips of white cardstock, and I'm just cutting them um, to be my snow. Just kind of wavy. 
and there's a um, shorter one and a taller one so they're just gonna go on top of each other So I was trying to decide which um, sentiment I wanted to use, and I decided to use one from Lawn Fawn. It's the season's greetings. I think that stamp set is called like In the Park, or um, I'm not really sure what it's called, but I will have that in my description. Okay, so instead of using, I didn't use the white strips that I was going to for the snow because I didn't like the way it looked. So instead I just took some glossy accents and I put two lines kind of by his feet and then some um, on the tree branches. And then I have the Rock Candy Distress um, Glitter. So I'm just pouring that on it and then tapping off all the excess. And then I'm just going to tap it over the garbage to make sure that I got all the extra pieces off. And as you can see, it's just like a little subtle, um, you can see the snow on the ground. Alright, and then I rounded the corners of that. And I'm going to go ahead and pop dot that up. So I'm just adding my pop dots to the card base because the places where I put the glossy accents are still a little wet. So I don't want to flip that over and stick it on my craft mat. So then I will just set that on there. And then I'm, I have some white perfect pearls and I'm just gonna add a few drops around. This is kind of my substitute for sequins. Um, I like the way these pearls look and they're cheaper than buying um, the pre-made pearls and you get a lot more out of this container. Alright, there's my finished card. And thanks so much for watching. Bye.